Hi everyone, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel, Make a Destination. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Amanda again, and this is where I help you make it to your destination, whether it's through advice, um, showing you my process, or just reflecting on my past trips. So today we're gonna reflect, and again, like I said last week, I'm starting this new segment of my channel called Lessons From, and then whatever place I've been to. So this week it's Lessons From Philly, um, and this trip I took a few years ago, and my boyfriend and I fell in love with it, and I hope you uh, find this video helpful if you're planning a trip to Philly. So, let's get to it. Two summers ago now, um, Sam and I went to a concert there. We decided, hey, why don't we make it into a little mini trip? We were going to see Flatbush Zombies. It was for, I believe it was a birthday gift for him. So it was a fun city. We loved it. Um, but again, like every trip, there are lessons that you learn from it. So this is Lessons from Philly. So I'm going to say, just right off the bat, this was a city I feel like we immediately fell in love with. Um, there's kind of those moments in your travel life where you're just like, wow, this is such a cool place. And you could envision yourself living there. And Philly for us was definitely one of those places. So my first piece of advice and my first lesson that I wish I knew when I went to Philly was do not, and I mean do not, go to Gino's or Pat's for Philly cheesesteaks. It is a tourist trap. Um, Gino's tends to give out coupons or they do a lot of promo. If you go to any of the touristy sites, there's always something about Gino's or Pat's there. They have a lot of like lights and decoration and they're facing right across from each other. It's kind of like a wonky little setup, but do not go to either of these places for Philly cheesesteaks. Now I love me a good Philly cheesesteak. They're delicious. The cheese, the peppers, the onions, delicious. But honestly, these were the worst Philly cheesesteaks I've ever had in my life. And Sam agreed. We did not go to Pat's. We went to Gino's because there was a coupon. Um, and when we ordered, the service was super bad. The woman did not seem like she wanted to be there. Now, I work in the food industry. I try to understand some people have good days and bad days. But she really just seemed like she didn't want to be there. Um, we had questions about things. And it did not seem like she wanted to answer them. She was not happy to be there. We got two Philly cheesesteaks um, and we Ubered because the parking in Philly, we didn't want to like move our car and then lose our spot. So we just Ubered there. Um, we went back to the Airbnb and we took a few couple of bites and it was the most disgusting taste I've ever had from a Philly cheesesteak. Usually there's a lot of flavor. They season the meat very well. The butt is, you know, perfectly like kind of toasted. It was soggy. It was, it just smelled nasty. And so Sam and I usually never do this, but we were like, you know what? Maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe this is just like a, a one bad, you know, one time thing of, of being bad. So we actually went on Uber Eats and ordered from Gino's. So then we got the same thing again. And then they brought it to us 30 minutes later. I don't know why we thought it was gonna be different, but we were like, hey, maybe this place like just was having a bad night. No. We ordered again that same night, they brought it to us, and then again it was nasty. So we were like, this is crazy that we're in Philly and we're having one of the worst Philly cheesesteaks of our lives. So I would say do not go to either of those places. Ask your Uber driver where to go because locals always know where the tourist traps are, what to avoid. So one of our Uber drivers when we were leaving told us to go to gyms. Now, if you're from Philly or you've been to Philly, let me know in the comments where to get a good Philly cheesesteak because I want to go back and redeem myself. I want Philly to redeem themselves with their Philly cheesesteaks. Put it in the comments. Also, let's click that like button and subscribe so that you never, you know, miss a notification on my videos. But let's just, you know, get that like button. Anyways, yeah, please comment and let me know where I could find a good Philly cheesesteak because I want to go back and have a delicious one. I mean, it's Philly. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's my little rant. 
Do not go to Geno's or Pat's. It's a tourist trap. You could go there and look. It's a cool place, but don't go. My second thing about Philly, it is a very well set up city. Like I've said in my past videos, I'm going to school for urban planning. I live for greatly planned cities. In my opinion, this is a very well laid out city. Now, of course, it's been through a lot. It's one of the first cities, you know, in the US. So sometimes the streets are a little wonky, but there are beautiful like parks within the city. There's little like naturey spots. I also felt like it was different than New York City in the fact that there wasn't that hustle and bustle. So you could actually feel like when you were walking, you know, you didn't have to like move through people or like rush somewhere. You could actually enjoy the city and look around. The architecture is beautiful. There's a lot of, I think it's called row, row homes. They're beautiful. A lot of brownstones, things like that. Just architecture you might not see in every city. That's what we really liked about it. Um, and you didn't feel overwhelmed. It was just enough for you to always have something to, to look at or do, but it wasn't too much where it's like New York City where it's like, oh my God, like I just have to go through these people. I have to hurry up and get to the place I have to go. Oh my God, like there's so much going on. We did not feel overwhelmed. Um, we stayed, I believe, in University City, which was a cute little, obviously there's universities around, um, lots of like hospitals and stuff in Philly. Um, one place I would recommend staying that I've heard is, I believe it's called Ranton House Square. That is like a very central location. Um, but our, our Airbnb wasn't bad. Again, Philly isn't a massive city like Los Angeles. Um, it's very, uh, what is the word, concise. So. I mean, it's easy to get from point A to point B, but if you want to be in the center of it, of it all and not Uber, I would definitely recommend Rittenhouse Square. So number three, you have to try Elves. It is delicious. Now, Sam and I usually do not wait this long for a restaurant. We waited, I believe, like two and a half hours to go here. And I think we just went on Yelp or Google and just typed in like good restaurants near me. Um, and we were feeling Mexican that night. So we went to Elves. We waited, we waited, we walked around the little area. We were like, maybe we should just go somewhere else, you know? Cause I think when you're hungry, like two and a half hours, I mean, two and a half hours in general is a long time, but when you're hungry, I mean, I turned into a different person. It's a little scary. I give Sam credit because sometimes I need a snack or something to hold me over. But we waited um, just because everything else around didn't really like fit the vibe we wanted. Oh my God, it was worth the wait. We had delicious food. We got like this a side of like sweet corn. He got like these fish tacos. I think I got like enchiladas or something. I'll put a few pictures up here hopefully of what it looked like. It was just a cool aesthetic. The best margarita I've ever had. I mean, I'm a lightweight. I have like one or two and I'm like already feeling it. So I was feeling good that night. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it's a really cool design in there in the restaurant. Um, it's like kind of cheesecake factory and the fact that it's kind of like dim but it's very unique and like hippie so i thought that was really cool just a delicious place but make sure you make a reservation you know i think sam and i this was like an extended weekend trip we didn't really like plan a whole lot so that's why we waited but i would definitely say make a reservation so you don't have to wait two and a half hours and while we're talking about food one thing that I forgot about, which Sam didn't, and I was like, how did I forget about this? Wawa. Oh my god. I mean, I'm from Upstate New York, and Stewart's, Stewie's, whatever you say, it is, you know, that's kind of like our Upstate New York thing. Wawa. Oh my god, delicious. We had smoothies, the snacks there, the food there. There's Wawa literally on every block in Philly. And I said, if we move here, you know I'm coming here like every day, getting a coffee, getting a smoothie. It is a delicious place. It's cool. I don't know. There's just some, something about Wawa. There's something about like a good convenience store, especially when you go to like a concert or something that just kind of hits different. So I would definitely say Wawa makes Philly. That was a cool spot to go to. All right. So the fourth and last point is this city is perfect for history buffs. This is where a lot of, you know, this is kind of like where America started. Lots of things happen here. Um, the two places that we went to were Eastern State Penitentiary, which was really cool. Hopefully I'll put some pictures here. If not, it'll be in the intro. But I mean, it was a really cool place. There was just a lot of like history. It was kind of cool being in like an old like prison like that. Um, for me, I believe in like spirits and stuff. So it was a little creepy, 
but honestly it was a great place to explore um they had really cool exhibits and they have you like put on like um you know a headset and you like walk through it um and you find out like who you know stayed there what the living conditions were like why it was closed down it is a very cool um spot and sam and i always like being adventurous and looking and finding something new so eastern state penitentiary was pretty cool and the second place we went to was Liberty Bell. Um, hopefully, again, there'll be a picture here. If not, it'll be in the intro. But we took pictures near the Liberty Bell. You know, we hit it, and there's a little, like, crack in it or whatnot. Um, that was cool. It was, it's, it was nice, like, learning about the history and seeing what it was like. But <laughs> one thing that Sam had, again, he's very into, like, kind of, I guess, protection. So he was, like, he brings like a knife with him, I guess was whatever city we go to. There are no knives allowed here. This is like a, I, I don't want to say like a national like park, but it's kind of on that like scale. And they do not allow weapons. You have to go through a metal detector. So if you're one of those people who's like, whenever you're in a new city, you bring like mace or a knife or some form of prote protection, please do not bring that there because they had to put it in like this little flower pot outside, go inside you know, take a little tour, go to Liberty Bell, walk out, and make sure it was still there. So, I was a little frustrated that day since he brought that. I mean, of course I'm glad that, hey, if something happens, at least we have something. But at the same time, I'm like, why couldn't you have told me that you brought that? Anyways, it is perfect for history buff. So, there's so much to do in Philly. I bet we only hit, like, the tip of the iceberg. We only stayed for, I think, like, four, four days um in the summer but it was so much fun and i'm hoping when this whole you know situation is is settled that we could go back to philly now that we're both 21 because i was only 21 at the time sam wasn't that we could go we go to the clubs i hear philly is cool for like live music there's just something about philly there's like a cool laid back like jiggy with it sort of energy you know and uh this is definitely a city i would say that we could see ourselves living in so if you have any questions about Philly and how our experience was, just message me. You could um, say something in the comments, but remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. Until next time, thank you.